Ladies and gentlemen, church of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, Strong Style Cinna File. And we got ourselves a sneak peek at Once and Always from Power Rangers. It was just a short scene that happens after uh, Kat and Rocky have teleported into the command center and assess the situation or told what's going on. We find out that Billy and Alpha have been messing around, experimenting with the power as they find maybe like a, a back door to uh, connection to the morphing grid. They're using proxy power coins to be able to access the power, which of course, Zach points out that duplicating active powers is a dangerous thing. Cat's like, doesn't matter, let's do this. And they proceed to morph to deal with some putties. And I'd seen the comments on there about that fact, um, not so much on the Power Rangers uh, YouTube page because you can't comment on there, but IGN uploaded the scene and people were commenting on there about how in Dino Fury we have the Morphin Masters and they're kind of written as a source of powers. We had seen in one of the recent uh, episodes from the season of Dino Fury how the Morphin Masters kind of, or one of them in particular, kind of aided the Power Rangers at various times enabled them to do team-up shenanigans at various times. It was kind of inferred, basically intimated that they were the ones that kind of uh, facilitated the big um, Ranger uh, Mega Force Mega Battle to be able to happen by summoning all the, the Rangers and giving them powers and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, some people were kind of like, well, we have the Morphin Masters, now we're doing this, why are we doing this? And it's like, it's whatever. I'm like one of those people that I like to have like a nice canon and, and um, continuation of the Rangers, but I understand now that we've got like alternate Earths and alternate realities and that sort of thing. And um, pretty much everything from like Mighty Morphin up to a certain extent is basically like Prime Earth. And then you have some of these other more recent seasons that take place elsewhere, it's fine. It is what it is. I mean, to me, still the greatest team up of all time is Forever Red. And that has logical fallacies and um, just continuity issues all around. And I don't care. Like stupid shit, like they're, they're breathing out on the moon. Breathing, fine, but it doesn't matter because it's 10 Red Rangers and they got Austin St. John. That was like his first time coming back. So it doesn't matter. It was just a kick-ass team up. So this is like one of those things where, yes, I could get bogged down with continuity and the questions of this or that, or I could sit back and enjoy Power Rangers, the Power Rangers of my childhood coming back and kicking ass on screen. I'm gonna choose the latter, but that's just me. And it's nine days away, so who knows if they're gonna put out other like sneak peek scenes and what's gonna happen. If they do, cool. If they don't, also cool. I'm just fine with being just seeing everything for the very first time on screen when I sit down and watch it on April 19th on Netflix. So, yeah, needless to say, I'm geeked for Power Rangers, Mighty more from Power Rangers once and always, and I'm here for it. Whatever they want to do, I don't care. I'm here for it. I'm just here for it to just enjoy it. But those are some of my thoughts on it, scattered as they often are. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Till next time and more videos. I'm trying to get caught up on. I have so much flash to get caught up with, which thankfully there's a, a hiatus with that until the episode where the Green um, Green Arrow comes back, which feels like that season has just been lots of filler until that, and then like the final arc that's going to end the series, the whole Red Death thing. I've just I've got rants on that. Got to talk about Gotham Knights. Got to talk about Superman and Lois, which is kicking ass, of course. And then Titans is coming back April 13th. So I'm gonna try to squeeze in um, the episodes that I haven't seen. Uh, and talk about those and then be ready for the last slew of episodes of that disaster of a series. So that's my goal. We'll see how it plays out. And uh, yeah, but more importantly, Power Rangers, once and always, it's coming. It's nine days away. Yeah, cannot wait. Till next time, let us geek.